varicose veins are swollen and enlarged veins which appear mainly on people's legs. Uh, they can look blue or deep purple in appearance and uh, can swell up particularly towards the end of the day. Uh, they cause a variety of symptoms and they're an extremely common condition. Uh, the problems that they can cause include aching, heavy and uncomfortable legs, swollen feet and ankles, burning or throbbing in your legs, muscle cramp in your legs, particularly at night, painful phlebitis, which is an inflammation of the veins, and finally dry, itchy and damaged skin, usually over the ankle area. Symptoms of varicose veins can include all sorts of different aches and pains. They're usually worse during warm weather or after periods of heavy standing. The most common type of varicose veins are in the legs. Because the flow of blood in the leg veins is upwards against gravity, the veins contain a series of one-way valves. The valves prevent blood flowing backwards in the vein. In varicose veins, the walls of the veins become stretched and lose their elasticity, causing the valves to weaken. If the valves don't function properly, this creates some backflow of blood, resulting in pooling and enlargement and stretching of the vein. If the valves fail, the blood will stagnate in the veins, which become swollen and enlarged. The reasons why the walls of the veins stretch and valves in your veins weaken are not fully understood. Your risk of developing varicose veins is increased if a close family member has the condition. This suggests varicose veins may be partly caused by your genes, which are the units of genetic material you inherit from your parents. Recent research has identified some genes which may be involved in valve development in veins. Women are slightly more likely to be affected by varicose veins than men. This may be because female hormones tend to relax the walls of veins, making the valves more prone to leaking. Varicose veins are also more common after pregnancy due to the increased pressure in the pelvis, which may affect the flow of blood upwards in the veins of the legs. Your job may influence your risk also, as some research suggests jobs that require long periods of standing may increase the risk of getting varicose veins. For many people, varicose veins don't represent an immediately serious health hazard. However, untreated varicose veins over a long period of time can cause damage to the skin, usually around the ankle. In some cases, this skin damage can become very severe and break down into a venous ulcer, which is a sore that doesn't heal up. The development of a venous ulcer takes quite a long time, which is why they're most common in elderly people. However, if a venous ulcer does happen, it's a really serious problem and very difficult to heal up and extremely difficult to treat. If you do experience problems with varicose veins, the best treatment depends on the type and severity of veins that you're suffering from, and you should discuss the treatment options with your vein specialist. That's because there are several different types of treatment, and the best option will depend on a number of factors.